The Jacksonville police officer who arrested convicted killer Donald Smith is the same person who found the body of Smith's victim, eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle. Today, Officer Charl Charlie Wilkie went back five years to that day and spoke exclusively with Ken Amaro. He talks about the emotional toll and the message of thanks from Periwinkle's older sister. At Highlands Baptist, the words on the sign speak of God's love. And when I did that, as soon as I touched his pants, I had water, actually water droplets on my hand, and I said, oh my God, she's in the water. But what police found on the church grounds five years ago was a description of evil. It, it, it'll, it'll, never, it'll never leave my mind. Charlie Wilkie, a retired JSO officer, arrested Donald Smith, and Wilkie would be the one to find eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle's body near the church. I stood by with her until I was relieved just to keep her company. Um, but the emotions were just overwhelming. I looked down, she had the same dress on my little daughter had. My daughter's two years younger than Cherish, same long brown hair, and, uh, and I, you know, I, I cried. He and his partner Gator, a canine, would track along the tree line near a tributary of the Trout River. I could see where he actually just drug her. Before they would make the gruesome discovery. I'm talking maybe seven, eight minutes from the time I pull up to where I've got her. And, and the detectives couldn't believe it. I'm standing in the water, I'm in almost knee deep water going, I've got her, I've got her. On Thursday, Cherish's older sister, who has now adopted her two other sisters, reached out to Wilkie to say thank you. And a very heartfelt thank you from her. And, and I just sat there at the table and was crying. She was very thankful for the closure that they got. Smith will be sentenced for Periwinkle's murder. Wilkie says the death penalty is the right sentence people that have that kind of evil up inside of them, you know, don't, don't need to be here. The retired from JSO, Wilkie is still in law enforcement. He says this case will remain with him for the rest of his days. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.